Microcast. Hey, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Hi. So there we go. Very exciting uh, figure this week. Yeah. We plow through our studio series, or not studio series, uh, Legacy. Um, Legacy. Yeah, there you go. So tonight we are doing Legacy Skids because Christian and I decided, I like, Anna, where's your skids at? My skids, my skids is not that skid. My there you go. Thank better. you. I appreciate it. I, I specifically wanted Anna to come and lord over us with her, like, masterpiece skids and tell Here. us about how much better it is. Than... I'll put him up on a pedestal so he stares at you the whole show. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> He's got to look nice. down upon you the whole show. My goodness. Anna's, uh, like, sticking to her whole, like, not buying our mainline crap, so. I, I'm not going to buy figures I don't like anymore. Like, that. that's, like, problematic behavior. <laughs> yes. Well, and I also think, too, like, you actually want to try to stick to a one per character. And you already got the masterpiece. Like, why in the world would you get the mainline figure, like, you know, after... I do you have the second the... skin, but he's he's kind of a different uh, guy. The old lot. one, yeah. You can, count, you can count that differently. That's IDW skin, so... He's a different guy. I mean, he, right. he has a personality and characteristics. <laughs> this guy is... Oh, poor skin. So do we want to do the alt mode first or the robot mode? Uh, alt mode, I'm usually. Alt mode. You're in alt mode. Let's do that. I'm in alt mode. So yes, it's a, it's a car. How is it, it has, honestly? How's the alt mode? I've never seen it. Um, it's uh, it's not bad. I mean, I think the only thing that I would complain about a little bit is that the the wheels like they're doing the thing, which I guess it's fine. It's like not too bad. I don't know if the um, is the masterpiece skids have painted wheels. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure what you meant by the wheels are doing the thing, but yeah. yes. So, like, that's the only thing, I don't know. I, I always, I realize it's like, it is what it is. You have to make cuts somewhere. Um, but uh, the, I wish that it had painted wheels. So, but otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think mm -hmm. blue is you know, not, not looking too bad with, like, the little hatchback. Like, um, my particular copy, and I don't know if you can see or not. Like, lighting's kind of weird um is like i've got like some weird crack on the windshield for whatever reason i don't know that's weird it doesn't bother me that much it's fine but um the sides have paint um it looks very nice the back yeah, the, it the paint matching me. between uh the stripes on the clear piece and the stripes on the opaque plastic piece is really good they did a good job yes and then they painted the front headlights as well, so like that all looks good. They are looking good. And he's got a painted sunroof. Oh, yeah. Which is like a so. weird thing to paint, but they did it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even that's that's interesting. I didn't even notice that. So there you go. I don't I don't know why that would happen, but uh they did. So thanks. Thanks for that paint app. <laughs> is it is it solid blue painted black or is it clear painted? It's clear blue, painted yeah. blue, painted black. <laughs> awesome. At least I think it could be the whole piece is clear yeah, blue. Would, I don't know if there's blue just, paint on the black paint. Right. Why wouldn't they just like have it as clear blue? I, I don't know. I don't make the rules. That's interesting. So. But yeah, like I don't think it looks bad. I mean, the back is unpainted, but it's fine. So, um, but yeah, like, I, I think yeah. this is a, you know, semi-accurate, uh, as accurate as you can get without being licensed. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, neat little boxy hatch hatchback. Looks like the Honda City Turbo, but not quite. It's nice. They really dug in on the angles, though. Like, he, there are no yeah. curves on him at all. He is a box. Yeah, it, it is a box. But the, um, like, the actual car itself is pretty boxy, right? I mean... Pretty boxy. 
Uh, and comes with a tiny motorcycle in the back of it. Wait, did the... Did, I thought the regular one didn't. Did the regular one come with one, or was it the alt one that came with the, the little motorcycle thing? The real car came with one, yeah. No, I know the real car did. I meant the masterpiece. Sorry. Uh, one of the masterpiece. Two of the masterpieces come with it. So Maybe uh, Skids I, doesn't, but Reboost and Crosscut do. I, I don't know. Mention too, the doors doors open. If they do. It's a function of the transformation, but they do open. Yes. So. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, thank you, Randall. The masterpiece skids did not come with the uh, like motorcycle, which was. I weird. think some of them do, but not skids. Yeah, that, that's what he said. The other two re, repaints do because I I remember uh, Phil complaining about that. It is kind of weird. I think they just was, maybe it was I think you just toss it in. Somebody and Anna left us apparently. So she did. She I thought she would come back by now. She can't validate whether or not she was the one complaining. So I, I remember Sorry. someone complaining when we did the review of the masterpiece. So, but yeah, well, here's the bot mode. It's pretty sim simple. Yeah, he's got, like, you know, normal car chest, hood chest, Autobot transformation. No big deal. Here he is. The one the main thing I want to say is that in the promo images, this square piece on the back of his head looked horrendous. And I was like, man, do I even want this kid? That looks awful. What a terrible looking head. In person, not uh, bad. Not Not ideal, but not bad. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case for all of these types of things, so... Yeah, I think I don't know. sometimes if you put it in, like, really harsh lighting, it can highlight some of the worst pieces. But it's like, meh, it's okay. Yep. Yeah, he looks like Skids. Uh, He's, yep. again, very boxy. The boxiness continues over. But yeah... But what um, can I say? Yeah. The, uh... This is the first updated skids in this kind of form we've ever had, besides Masterpiece. Right. Besides because the, Master the I mean, T31 I think... is not bad, and that that was it. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I, I feel like that if we would have gotten this before the Masterpiece, that you know people probably would have been more excited about it. I'm excited and that's, right that's the weird thing about these releases lately, right? Like, we've had this trend of getting the masterpiece figure and the like mainline update really close together lately. You know, it happened with RC. It's kind of happening with Jetfire a little bit. It definitely happened with skids because they were within months of each other. And it's just, it leads to more comparisons. And Rob always tells us don't compare MP to mainline, but in this case, I think that one might actually have a more complex transformation than the MP. Oh, this one? It's not. I it's would prefer one, this to be in the MP colors, that lighter blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is going This is going for like a toy look and a Marvel look, and I think the Masterpiece is going for the cartoon look that one episode he showed up in, so it's different objectives. But I, I feel like, too, that I wonder if they picked that just because they came out so close together that uh, to differentiate, differentiate the two. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another repaint of this skids in a year or two that's in the you know, cartoon colors. Right. See that too? Maybe he goes in my 2024 line. So this one was I actually know. more complicated than the MP. Does the MP borrow the same foot transformation from the Thrilling 31? Because this one does. Putting the wheels on the bottom of the feet, I noticed that that's carried over from um, the IDW I haven't released. chased him in forever, yeah. The wheels so go on the kind of on the bottom. Hmm. But overall, I like they, this. Yeah, he, he does the box thing. They go on He's the box, inside. Yep. Oh, they're going on the inside. Okay, not quite the same. Not quite the same. Same general idea of getting rid of the wheel and making it part of the foot, but it's a little more concealed, I guess. Honestly, less concealed. Yeah. So I know people complained about like saying that this was hollow. I I don't really think it is. Um, I think it's totally oh, fine. Really? 
Like it's it's like all the other like if you look at every single car mo uh, mold uh, that's come out, they all have some type of like you know hollowness, whatever you want to call it. But like, I mean, I think it does a pretty good job of filling it in. I thought that I was going to be annoyed because the legs weren't painted silver all the way around, but in hand, I think it's fine. Solid yep. from the front is something that some of these toys go for. And I think probably the main reason that bugs me that we get some figures that are so hollow. Cause I was playing with the prowl mold the other day, right? I was playing with my, um, um, what's his name? Um, police officer movie barricade. barricade. I was playing with him and, um, I was just staring at his legs, right? Like it's been months since I played with them. I liked him originally and I just could not stop staring at those skinny legs with giant cavities in them. And I think the biggest problem for those legs is that you have the comparison of like kickback, right? Who is the same price point, the same general size and solid as hell, right? Like there's no hollowness on that thing. Hardly. Right, there's a little the bit of hollowness in lower arms. They have to do different things. Right. right yeah, absolutely. This is going to say, and check didn't but really I, I transform. Like that's kind of part Not of really. too. And, and that's where, like, you put next the to each other, it's like, oh, why does this one have gaps and this one doesn't? Yeah, I get that. Right. right. It's right. an inconsistency thing, right? Like, and not not an inconsistency from a toy design perspective, because I understand why the same thing costs yep. more to do than another thing type of deal. But just from a display perspective, like, Christian likes things to look like they go together. And to yes. me, that makes things look like they don't go together. Because my brain translates gaps directly to quality, which is strange. So I have some very one thing I'll say up. though is I do feel like the master and obviously the masterpiece uh, Dotsons like were done you know so long ago, um, but I mean those have a fair amount of hollowness as well. Again, like part of it's probably a transformation, and if they came out now, they might be more solid, but then they also might have more kibble. So um, I don't know. One thing I will say, they do have more hollowness than other toys in the line. Do I will give you that? Right, 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 right. right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I, like. It's not all like sunshine and rainbows, like if that's concerned. Um, I will say, uh, Anna, this does have a wrist swivel, so good. Um, if you're if you're looking for a remold of this at some point, um, you know his weapon loadout is good too. He's got his double laser, he's got his single one, and he comes with the uh, clear blue axe gun energon weapon. Again, mine is. Combined with my laser prime, like I mentioned with Kickback's wings last week, it's all like a thing now, but it's a good little axe weapon. Yeah, neat. Do you, do you have your spook oh, somewhere? Was... Sorry, what were you saying? Do you have your axe somewhere? Oh, no, it's upstairs. Dang. I'm sorry. I kind of forgot that he even uh, came with it. I was The other day I surprise. was looking at it and I'm like, what figure did that come with? And I forgot it was the game of skids. I would like to address Anna's comment about me liking things that go together. This is about as far field from what I currently have as I can go. Because everybody else has been kind of redesigned a little bit with their alt modes to kind of update a little bit. And while that's true for skids, if you take a look at your skids, Anna, he's got, you know, curvy bits on his chest. Like the, the front end of the car is not just square, it's it's pretty square, but it's got some flourishes. It's got some, you know some some curves to it. This doesn't, and so this looks like really angular when you put it next to everybody else from '85. Like I've got him with snow screen and warpath, and even Blaster, who is you know literally a box, has a little bit more curvature than than Skids does. So he's like, oh, that's not it's not quite quite the same thing you're going for there, pal. I agree with that because the, the MP skids, he pulls off very boxy in car mode, but he comes back to angles look more alive, right? Like it makes him look more like there's life to it when he's got more angularness to him and it, it does help. He's got more of that curvature that makes him look more like a living robot instead of a, a solid box. Yeah. It is bot mode, but not in his car mode. Yeah, it's not bad, but it it is about the limit that I I can go. 
it's a bit jarring, I would say. Yeah, a little bit. Especially just in my display, I had a space next to smoke screen. And you know, we all we know how curvy those Datsuns are. And then I, you know, I put skids next to them. It's like, oh, you're not, you're not quite the same design velocity. Close, not quite. So anyway, that's just a, a nitpick I have about my own collection, mm-hmm. not about the figure itself. But yeah, I think that's a valid nitpick, though. It does take the style in a slightly different direction. But yeah, it's I very mean, I... faithful. I think overall I was worried about the figure before it came out and I I was actually somewhat pleasantly surprised uh, with it. Um, So it doesn't seem as bad as it did in pictures, right? In pictures, it seemed like it was real bad. You guys messing with it and showing me it in the limited poses you two do is enough to kind of make me see that it has a little more life than it did in pictures. Yes, Which is important the, to me. Toys need to have life. Back of a head. I, I mentioned that while you were away. That in pictures, the the block on the back of his head here looked really terrible. And I was like, geez, I'm not even sure I'm going to get that figure. It looks so bad. But in person, no, it's fine. I mean, it's not ideal. But it's also not nearly as glaring as it was in the promo pics. And I'm seeing the trick of the angles on it, too, because sometimes you hold it up, and it's like one second, I'm like, it looks terrible. The next second, I'm like, oh, it looks fine, and then it looks terrible again. Yep. But in real life, you can just kind of angle your head to look at it the right way. Yep. Yeah, so uh, I, mean, I would be I perfectly think... willing to get this, you know, five more times. Is it five? Is it five? Count with me. Crosscut, burnout, reboost. Other skids, the green one, and Screech. I'm missing any? I, I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I think it's five. Well, I guess I look forward to getting it five more times then. Woo. Yeah. So, there you go, Anna. Take your pick of which one uh, you want to get. Did we decide that Knockout wasn't him? Knockout's a different Knockout vehicle? is jazz. Not just jazz. That's right. That's right. Because he was very well, he's like. Well, not exactly. Yeah. yeah. He's horrifically square looking, so I just made him into squid. Squids. Squids. <laughs> yes. No. Knockout is based on jazz, very heavily. Yeah. Retooled. No, that makes so much more sense that he's a jazz retool than a skids retool. But like I said, it's just like the boxiness for Knockout bothers me so much that I just went straight to skids. <laughs> I'm hoping that once we get knockout on hand, it'll adjust like skids did in hand, and it's not quite so bad. I hope so too. I, I, they kind of, I probably wouldn't have skipped him if the red figure didn't come out, but because I am like, I will go with any line to get the figures I want. You know, I'm, I'm happy with what I have. You know, I have the old okay. toy for car mode and the red figure for bot mode, and both look good. So it's fine. Definitely the best red figure. We talked about that. Absolutely. Yep. Skids, you could you could get them if you need a skids. You could wait if you don't need a skids. Uh, if you're happy with your T31 and that's your dude, if you're happy with your MP and that's your dude, great. If you're one that goes along, this is a good addition to your collection. Or if you want to experience the mold, maybe wait for one of the more colorful repaints. I'm sure we're definitely getting burnout. She is in the Walmart line. Uh, I'm assuming we'll probably get crosscut and probably reboost at some point. Skid and Screech, I'm going to go with outliers on them. We'll see. They don't really seem to want to touch those characters right now, so we'll we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I Ron agree. mentioned a couple oh, sorry. helpful things in the chat. One thing he mentioned was that on that Datsun mold, when they went from the siege to the Earthrise, they actually added those leg fillers in the bottom. Mm-hmm. And in my short time that I owned one of the Earth Mode ones, it really does help. Like it really does. did. Like it addressed an actual issue because you know they do look strange. Those siege ones, like they're almost okay as you reconceptualize them as like really skinny, fast characters with tiny legs so they can move quickly even though you need leg muscles to move quickly but anyway robots don't have muscles so it's fine but i feel like the leg fillers really helped a lot and the other thing he said and i think is a really good point is that when we're looking at those pictures 
we overly dissect what we can see from a single picture. Whereas when we have it in hand, we have all the different parts and thing to play with. You know, we can we can mess with it, enjoy everything we like about it. We can get distracted by wrist swivel for you know multiple seconds and not focus as much on head box. And well, I think too, just yeah, seeing a figure it's in really three dimensions versus two also you know, it does help. Can help, and then a lot of times the pictures that they post may not always have the best, the coolest poses. Like if they hired Anna to pose the figures, then it'd probably be much better. But Hey, they need to hire me job. to pose them and then anyone else to do the lighting and backgrounds. Because I'm right. terrible at lighting and backgrounds. Wow, yes. But I'm so, good at posing. But uh, I was going to say, I agree with your assessment. Like, I mean, I, I'm happy with this figure, but I don't think it's something where I'm like, oh, you have to go out and go, you know, get the figure like right away. Like, so. Does he have a spot for the little mini bike? I, I heard you guys talking about it. I had to step away for a second. He doesn't have a spot where it no. could go. Okay. Because no. nope. I see that as definite um, upgrade kit fodder. Like, I think that someone will make the bike, even if it has nowhere to go right. in his car mode. Actually, I think someone already did. The bumper or something. I actually think I saw someone selling the bikes already. Cool. Which is cool that someone um, went ahead and made those. Like, I don't know if they were selling them or just showing, like, mock-ups or it might have even been a 3d printer it may have been a delusion from one of my dreams i don't know but i saw them somewhere i was gonna say about the bikes though that um when we reviewed the mp i probably ton and cheek complained about the bike but i really didn't care like to me it was just kind of a like it's almost a mark of the other two versions of the toy that they released aren't really characters people are going to know at all really especially reboots but even crosscuts kind of a slightly deeper cut than he is so you know throwing in the bike with them is like a little bonus thing to help to get people to buy them but those kids they didn't need to do that because he's here? one of the one of the guys i don't know i've, I don't think I've so. forgotten what crosscuts bike is called it has a name does it have a name Ooh. it has a name and I've forgotten what it is. And I'm so sorry, viewers. I, it's my job to know these things for you. Well, I know, so Lucas. I'll let you down. Uh, he's uh, expecting that Reboost and Crosscut will be a Gen Selects two pack. Similar to I think so. Uh, like Cordon and like spin out. Cordon and spin out. Yeah. yeah. I, I think could that see makes that. Sense. Yeah, I'll just have I'm to look at all the different ones. I'm sort of expecting a tracks pack like that too, with loud pedal and mm. yellow tracks from alternators. But you know. oh man, I would love a loud pedal. I still have the MP1, and that's a really cool looking car. I think doing selects packs like those guys, I think that makes a lot of sense. Because mm -hmm. like if you're gonna be getting Corden, you're probably the kind of person who's gonna get spit out. Yep. I guess person. so. Like, Unless you're just get lucky. One. Unless you're just looking for one. And then you got Sunstreaker, which did not come out very heavily. I don't know. Well, I'm 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 that one person, right? Like I would like to have Road Ranger and I don't particularly want Puffer. Mm -hmm. Right? Like it's okay. Having both of them is not like torture. I'm not feeling like I'm staring at the same thing twice because they have the different heads and mm -hmm. their colors are very different. And Puffer is basically pretending just to be normal pipes for me. Because I don't need both. And maybe I should just sell Puffer and keep normal pipes. I don't know. But anyway, like for me, I would like them to be separate. Because I would like to have a lot of times I skip the first character made in a mold. Because I already have a version of them I like. Like this one. But getting Reboost in that mold instead of paying again for the, um, for the MP might make more sense to me. But it sounds like there's a lot to try one coming that'll be by itself, so that'll probably be That's fine. Burnout, yeah. What color is burnout? She's black and red. Those are good colors. I'll I'll deal with that. She hangs out with lift ticket. I work out the ice skips with lift ticket. Anywho. But yeah, I'm really glad that it's better than it looked. Because, I mean, it doesn't look terrible now that you all are messing with it. Like, I still don't think I'm going to super love it when I eventually get a version of it. But mm -hmm. 
it doesn't look like I'll hate it as much as I hate like um Studio Series Spike, right? Like that's a hate figure. No, I think you'd be totally fine with this. You, you just don't need another skid, so pick up Burnout or pick up Crosscut Reboost or Skid and Screech. Whatever other creative thing they make. They might make something really cool and creative. Maybe. You never know. I just like that this current Hasbro team seems to be willing and able to give us all those kind of other repaints. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that that's the thing about uh, whatever their production is now that they're able to kind of do those slight retools or repaints, you know, like relatively mm -hmm. easily and still, you know, release them. So like, I don't think the runs have to be as big as they used to be in order to like make it worth it for them. And it can even come out, you know, two years later. Lift Ticket just came out, and he's two years after Hoist. You know, right. uh, DK Guard is a year and a half after Ironhide. So it's like, you know, then we still got time. So it's not like just because Skids is out now, we know about Burnout. Like, it's over. It's done. Even though Sunstreaker, Accord, and Spinout came out pretty close together. Yeah, and I don't feel like those sets are e-shelf forming that bad. So I feel like they're doing pretty good. Obviously like, not. as far as the cells and everything. So I don't know if they were there for the big sell recently or not. Corden spent out? No, they were gone. Okay. They were I thought they were. Year. But I know a few yeah. things don't sell super well. Like, I think they distributed that toy Galvatron too widely. And he went on clearance in a bunch of places. Yep. But I think, you know, the rest of our single pack selects this year include some more Diaclone dudes like Blue Trail Breaker. Uh, I think he's coming next. And you know, they, there's a whole bunch of other Diaclone color schemes that they could use. So I'm, I'm hoping we get more of those two packs. I'm hoping we get more Diaclone. Yay, bring them on. Blue Child Breakers, Freddy. I've been thinking about getting the MFT one for a while. I just, I just hope they give us names for them. DK Guard was not fun. I just named that one Armor Hide. No, that was not fun. That was not fun at all. I was give, very disappointed give them to That's the whole them point. Doing that. It just feels really random not to do it for some of them now that they've done it for so many. I think, okay, this is a theory, the complete conjecture. This is not anything that I've heard, no basis in fact, but my feeling is that the selects this year are Hasbro initiated versus Takara initiated. Takara likes to name the things, even from back in the e-hobby, does this how get cross-cut road rage. And then, um, you know, Lift Ticket had a name from BotCon, Burnout had a name from BotCon, and the DK Guard had never existed before, so they just used the Diaclone name instead of coming up with something. That's my theory. We'll see. It's a reasonable theory. I guess I gotta think of a name for Blue Trailbreaker now. Hmm. Just in case you need it. Just in case I need it. it I would like to see... Using the the ratchet come out again and we can have that one be oil slug. That'd be pretty cool. More ratchets. Loud pedal and oil spick. Oil oil slick. Can't quite hold it. I'm making stuff up now. We're we're done talking about skids. Yeah. <laughs> so. you guys seem to both like him. It's nice to see yeah, that he's all right. viewer. It's it's not bad. He's a he's a box checker, so but he's a good box checker. It's not just right. like, oh, I've got to have ass skids. I'll pick up whatever skids I can get. No, right, this is like, right. this is a good skids. Like, I probably won't buy another one unless it's specifically right. IDW styled again. Right. Um, I, I do want to mention that Rick actually sent me a cut the tape. Uh, so what? I should get that out uh, for... Um, for this week. So, And then uh, Book Club, uh, what are we... What are we doing for book club there, Anna? I've lost track. Something. Randall didn't post anything in the chat about uh, which one you guys are doing. Well, I can find out very quickly. Regarding loading time. Yeah, he'll comment in a second. I'm also oh, clicking on book club. Optimus Prime 9 and 10. So there we go. Yeah, I haven't been reading Optimus for a long time. So there we go. Well, that's exciting. So, 
Um, all right. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us tonight. And thanks to everyone in the chat. Thanks to Ron and Randall. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's it. Yeah. Thanks for being here, everyone. So, all right. Take care.